floorboards. The opening scene of Inglorious Bastards is fantastic. I know it, you know it, we all know it. But there's one moment that I think stops it being a perfect scene. It takes it from a 10 to like a 9.9, .9, for me at least. And it's this line right here. You're sheltering them underneath your floorboards, aren't you? Let me tell you why. I'm just going to dive right in, okay? I assume you know the film well. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. You are in for a treat. Let's quickly sum up the conversation between Lander and Monsieur Lapidite. It starts off in French. Lander switches the conversation to English. Lander asks if Lapidite knows him and why he's here. He does. Lapidite says the Germans already searched his house. Lapidite lights a pipe. Lander gets details about the last Jewish family in the area. The audience learns that the family is hiding under the floorboards. Lander asks if Lapidite knows Lander's nickname. He replies, the Jew hunter. Lander says he can think like a Jew. Lander compares squirrels to rats. Lander smokes a big pipe. Lander says Lapidite's family will be left alone if he confesses to hiding the family. We get this face. Lander asks Lapidite if he's harboring enemies of the state. And Monsieur Lapidite confesses. Yes. Upon re-watching this scene, the conversation is all about Lander. It's not an interrogation as such. He doesn't ask many questions. It's about who Lander is, what he does, how smart he is, how powerful he is. And you can see why Lapidite would be like, there's no way I'm getting anything past this guy. And so... You're sheltering enemies of the state, are you not? He folds. Yes. And you would have too if you were him. Come on, be honest. Right, so far the scene's a 10, isn't it? Here's the thing. Nothing in the conversation or the scene gives away where the Jews are hiding. Lapidite doesn't slip up and say something he shouldn't. Lander doesn't do any detective work as such. He doesn't walk the room looking for clues. The focus is on the power play to intimidate Lapidite into a confession, which he gets. Yes. And it makes a great scene. But the next line when he says, You're sheltering them underneath your floorboards, aren't you? That guess kind of comes out of nowhere. We as the audience know where they are, but there's no way that Lander could know that's where they are. Now, to be fair, he does say where a normal German soldier would look. He looks in the barn, he looks in the attic, he looks in the cellar, he looks everywhere he would hide. And to be fair, where else is left? I mean, you're not going to get two of them hiding in a cow costume or something, are you? Part of the terror of Hans Lander is that he knows. And you know he knows. And the first time I saw this scene, and heard that floorboards line, I was like, oh man, this guy even knows where they're hiding. He's unstoppable. But on reflection, there is no way that he could know that. And that's where I think something cool could be added to this scene. Are you ready for this? Here it comes. How delicious would it be if when you watched the scene back, there were clues that you missed the first time round? Imagine as they walked in, there was stuff on the table, including a crowbar, and Lapidy tidied it all away quick. You'd think, oh, he's just clearing the table for Lander. But actually, he's getting the crowbar out of sight. And then as the girls leave, one of them stumbles or trips slightly on a loose floorboard. Lander could then think in his head, a crowbar, loose floorboards, and that could give him the idea that, you know, someone's hiding in the floorboards. And Tarantino would direct it brilliantly. He wouldn't draw too much attention to it. It'd be really subtle, because that's his thing. <laughs> Subtlety. And it would be cool to watch the scene back and spot that for yourself. Or more likely, someone on YouTube would tell you about it. And you'd be like, oh, that's how we knew. Man, Lander is a boss for spotting that. So leave a comment. Tell me what you think about that. Is it, is it a rubbish idea? Well, I think it's a cool idea. Anything that adds another layer to the evil tiramisu that is Hans Lander gets my vote. And who doesn't love discovering new Easter eggs in films? Come on. Actually, has anyone, has anyone checked? There might actually be a Easter egg in there that no one's noticed. I probably should have probably should have checked that before I made this video, shouldn't I? Right, I'm going to go have a look. <laughs>